Okay, now welcome to the last stop on this tour bus To the top where I was told her work would lure us Sure enough, look where I'm headed The opposite direction of the life that I dreaded And if you don't know, now you can know Man, Biggie Smalls would be proud of me Robinson, don't you know, Cano comes up with the home run derby title. I'm Sam from the Cash Cut and AC Sports Report. We got Justin from Sports News Insider along with us today. Great home run derby, Justin. What do you think? Uh, this home run derby was really, really, really great. Actually, we both thought that this was going to be a boring home run derby. It actually didn't. Uh, uh, Adrian Gonzalez versus uh, Robinson Cano at the end was just fantastic. Yeah, it really was. Um, I took some notes during this, so I'm basically going to read off during this. First of all, why was Firework playing while Cano was batting? I mean, Katy Perry is hot, but it didn't really make any sense to me. I love the part where David Ortiz um, said steps out of the box and he's like, I don't like the music. I mean, he takes steroids. I'm not a fan of him, but... I love that part. Um, it, it was just, it, it was an incredible home run derby. And there were parts where I was bored, and it's still ridiculous that it takes three hours, but I enjoyed it. I mean, one thing my dad said to me, it, it's amazing how these guys can just sit there in the box and hit the ball 400 some feet. I don't even know if I can hit it 270. These guys can go out there and hit it 450. 10 in a row. Adrian Gonzalez can hit 9 out of 10 home runs. It's just incredible to me. And One thing I saw during this was I truly think if Adrian Gonzalez set his mind to it, he could hit 50 home runs. This guy's got all the talent in the world. He's one of the best hitters I've seen in a long time. I mean, people slept on him during San Diego, but he is hands down the best player in the game right now. End of story. Justin, did you see those two amazing catches? The one where um, Albert or Albert Pool, the one where the guy uh, caught it and then he fell into the pool. Yeah, actually, I did see that. That dude, <laughs> he was—he's probably freaking cold when he first caught that ball because you know if you guys got into a hot tub you know, in a hot tub and you jumped into a pool, your whole body just gets freaking freezing cold. I thought that was probably the most funniest catch I've seen the, of the night. Yeah, and but. Did you also see that one, I forget which round it was in, but it was like the second round where the kid dove in center? Actually, I did not see that okay. one. Okay, well there was a one in center, and the announcers were trying to say, uh, that was Chris Berman, John Crock, and Nomar Garcia Parra, were trying to say that that catch was better. No way in hell. That pool, that catch where he falls in the pool, that should be number one on Sports Center. It should go to the best of the best. I mean... Sorry to be Abby Womba, Wombach's goal, but uh, it was a pretty amazing catch. I mean, it's still too long, and I, there's a lot of issues with it. But I think overall, what you end up with this year was a really good product. One of the best ones in years, really. I mean, this one, it was better at the end than it was at the beginning. We've seen a lot of times that the home run derby, someone will come out swinging hot like Josh Hamilton, and they won't be able to finish. This one was just great the entire way through. The last thing I want to get to is we are at back, 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 and moonshot, and that's on its way to Flagstaff the whole night. Justin, do you like Chris Berman announcing baseball? There are times where I say, I mean, shut up, but I enjoy listening to Chris Berman. I really, I really like Chris Berman when he's like reporting like NFL on ESPN when he goes, well, you guys know what I mean, but I, seriously, when Chris Berman always goes back, 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 it just annoys the hell out of me. Like every single home run, he goes back, 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 and gone. It just annoys the hell out of me. Yeah, I've seen him like play by play during actual games, and I'm like, come on. This is the best you can do, but I I think he's pretty funny. I love when he when he does that schwami thing, however you say that, every week where he picks the teams. He, he's funny. He, he's interesting to watch, and I find him funny. And there, you're right. There are times where I just say, "Shut up, really." But and my mom was sitting like right next to us, and she's just like, "Oh my god." When he said some of this, that's one. That one's on its way to Flagstaff, things like that. But 
it's just like the home run derby wouldn't be the home run derby without Chris Berman. He's been doing it for so long now. It's like, it's just amazing. Anyway, congratulations to Robinson Cano and his father. That was a great moment they shared on the field. Robinson Cano, and if you don't know, Nike Cano is your 2011 State Farm Home Run Derby champion. Tim, our picks were way off. You had Matt Kemp. He only had two home runs in the first. I picked Jose Batista. I thought this guy was going to dominate, but clearly our both of our picks were wrong. Jose had four. Kemp had two. Tim, what did you think? Yeah, like I don't know. I, last year I picked Vernon Wells. It's one of these things where I like to go with not the obvious choice, but not someone like Robinson Cano, who everyone's like, why the hell is this guy in the home run derby? I mean, I said that, and Reds fan Coop pointed that out on our Facebook page, facebook.com. It's uh, Cash Kill and AC Sports Reports. Check that out, like it, all that stuff. But um, I could certainly pick one right eventually, but I don't think that's coming anytime soon because the obvious people never win. Jose Batista just seems so obvious, but I had him in the final round. He was out in the first round. I mean, we just made awful picks. This is the second year in a row where I've done that. Last year I had Corey Hart, who started off hot, but he didn't even make it to the final round. I had him against Vernon Wells, and I had Wells winning, and both of them, for, no, I'm not even going to say it. They, they didn't do good. Um, I could certainly do without ever having to see Matt Holiday in a home run derby again, though. That, that's the last thing I want to throw in there. Anything else you want to get in? Man, I'm good. This is just this is actually a pretty interesting home run derby this year. I agree. We'll see you guys later.